Yes. Hello, welcome back. Let's talk about flip turns and why you should learn them. Imagine that you're driving a car going at 60 miles an hour and all of a sudden you need to go the opposite direction in an instant. How do you do it? You can't slam on the brakes, turn around and start pumping 60 miles an hour the other way with your car. It's, it's practically impossible. For swimming though, we can still keep the momentum going by incorporating flip turns into our swimming. And we can maintain a good amount of speed without slowing down or losing any momentum. Let's talk about some prerequisites before you start doing a flip turn. First of all, rule number one, don't do it in a land where there's several people swimming in it, okay? It's a dick move if you start doing flip turns when there's people around you. So don't do it when there's people in your lane, okay? Do it when you have a whole lane to yourself, like this, for example. Rule number two, only do it in deep water. It's very dangerous to perform a flip turn in shallow water because if you don't time it correctly, you could be uh, pushing your body towards the bottom or the floor and you could scrape your whole back or front. And I've scraped my legs a few times trying to do the flip turn in shallow, really, really shallow water, the shallow end of the pool. So make sure that you have enough depth or the water is deep enough for you to execute a flip turn. Usually at the deep end of a pool is the best place to practice your flip turn. Rule number three, know that the flip turn is not the only tool in your arsenal in order to push off the wall. You can do the same effect by just grabbing the wall and pushing it off of your legs. You don't have to do an actual flip in order to push off the wall. Pushing it off with your legs is enough. All you need is that, that push of a momentum. Flip turns look cool. It's great for showing off. It impresses the hell out of everyone. But do you need to start doing it or incorporating it at the beginning of your swim? No, you don't have to. I don't do flip turns all the time. Maybe because I'm too tired or maybe because I don't feel like it or maybe there's too many people around that I can kick or spear. So there are times when I restraint my flip turns, and so should you. You want to fish for my goggles? <laughs> <laughs> Please thank Brian for picking up my goggles at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> okay, so Brian's gonna uh, teach us how to do the proper flip turn from a competitor swimmer's perspective. Uh, which flip turn are you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you start learning the flip turn? Like, what was the first thing they taught you? Oh. Pretty simple. First time I can do flip turn, like the wallet comes into my nose. Yeah. Yeah, my coach like tell me, first time you do a hatch on the wall, do this turn. Yeah. I can uh, teach him how to do flip turn, so yeah, yeah. It's like you can go slow, you can breathe like right here, like when you breathe. Yeah, yeah, breathe right here. I try to your head down. Yeah, I try to head down so just make sure you breathe on your nose and you breathe in the bubbles. Yeah, yeah, breathe on your nose, and after we can turn. Yeah, first time too. I, I help you from turn. So like sideways the front and to sideways like boom yeah. and kick out like kick like like, like a side already so pretty bad. Okay. So after that I learned a few times now be like a little better. So yeah, be a little bit better, better and try go fast. Boom. Boom. What do they say about the black tea? Uh, black tea is uh, black tea is so it's in your, your middle. Because if it's too sunny, you will, and there's no tea break, if you will flip there, you will have a little bit like a, uh, a little bit missed. Okay, so first thing is, this thing here is a good indicator of aligning your body into the middle of the lane like first. Right? And where should your feet potentially land? In, in oh, down? we're going to kick out, so we see how you uh, land from here. Because uh, in the middle. Okay, so both feet are close together actually? Yeah, yeah, look. Good 
Is there any difference between legs apart or legs together? Yeah, so uh, legs together have to be like how you can. Just like hunky legs. Yeah. yeah. Tie these up and kick out. Okay. So it's, 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 you get more power if your legs are together. Yeah, kick out. Should the whole foot land on the wall, or should just oh, no, the... just uh, just for this part, just the toes, this place. Okay, so no, so no heels on the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that. I feel like jumping rope. Oh, that's a good tip. First trail that we should learn is grabbing the wall first. Yeah. First of all, you have to let your foot touch the knee. Yeah. Foot together. Just grabbing the wall and pushing off and gliding alone will help speed up your swimming. One style of pushing off the wall is to grab the arm wall with one arm like this. Like this on the side, like that. So you're basically like spearing or getting wet your sit up like this. Okay? And afterwards, you just want to push off as hard as you can and extend your body. Grabbing the wall with one arm, feet up against the wall, and then the other arm is extending out like this. Okay? Look forward and push off as hard as you can. Next thing you want to try is try pushing out the wall and looking up. You're going to have to bring your feet up a little bit higher. Actually, as high as possible, okay? So your knees, your kneecaps are exposed out of the water and your arms, both arms are grabbing the wall. Okay? So, from this position, you look up and So you saw me doing that, and my face had to be in the water. Some people, they like to they bounce off into the air. You don't have to do that yet, okay? Just submerge your body first and push off, okay? So let's do this together. Okay, so you're going to put your feet up, kneecaps, expose your arm out. Well, one arm, because I'm holding this goddamn GoPro for you. And you're gonna submerge your body, okay? So you look up, you sink. Simple as that. Okay, let's try it out. So try it again. Both kneecaps exposed. Both arms grabbing the wall, unless you have a GoPro like me. Okay. Submerge your body. It's gonna feel weird at first because it looks like you're in a glass ceiling effect. So once you get comfortable, pushing off the wall, on your to your front, and onto your back. Then the next step is to incorporate a dolphin kick. So dolphin kick is when you see the swimmers incorporating some sort of wave with their legs. It's pretty cool. The dolphin kick will extend your glide even further. So there, there's a point where after you push off the wall, you're gonna lose all that momentum. You're gonna start slowing down. Like, like woo, you go jolt and then oh right jolt oh so in order to keep that energy going incorporating a dolphin kick extends that energy even further when you push up the wall wait a few seconds i would count at least two to three seconds so i'd say push up the wall one thousand two one thousand three one thousand and then start adding three or four dolphin kicks so one two three okay so let me show you what i mean so if I'm on my back, or if I'm on my front, now the hardest part is 
the third act. The third act is the actual flip. <laughs> this is gonna cause you a lot of pain, a lot of nasal headaches because you're gonna be sucking so much water up your mouth and nose. But if you break it down in a nutshell, the flip turn is you doing a front somersault. So imagine if you were running as fast as you can against the wall, towards the wall, and you had to front somersault off the wall and go the opposite direction and maintain your speed. It's not easy, okay? So it's gonna require some practice. First of all, when you do your flip turn, you want to conserve some air as you perform the move, okay? Because usually when you're approaching the wall, most people are gassed out, right? They're just tired. And they just want to grab the wall and hug it and go home. But when you're about to perform a flip turn, you gotta do the opposite. You gotta conserve a lot more air as you start to enter it or begin to perform it. So when I'm swimming towards the wall, I want to make sure that I have enough air in my tummy, all right? So I want to conserve that air. And I want to let it out as slow as possible as I do my, my flip. Second of all, when I do my flip, I pretend that I'm doing a Japanese bow. Okay, so when you see Japanese businessmen bowing, they bow with their whole upper body, okay? So their hands are placed on to their pockets, right here, in front of them like this. And that's what you should be doing too. So when you pull, make sure your hands are close, tucked in, into your pockets. And you're bowing like a Japanese businessman. Okay? So do that effect on land if you have to before you attempt it in the water because it's gonna hurt because the water is gonna go up to your nose and um, into your cavity and it's gonna hurt like hell. So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and subscribe to this channel. And by the way, click on the link down below, join our Facebook group and film your swimming and ask questions because don't do it alone. This is a long journey for you so this is gonna take many, 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 many days for you to learn everything when it comes to swimming. So, join the Facebook group and if you need swimming lessons, sign up for my online swimming lesson program, 7dayswim.co and teach yourself how to swim, okay? That's it for now. Bye, take care.